continent. Okay, now let me say something straight off the bat here. I'm going to say the, the strengths of each group and the weaknesses of each group. Does everybody give me permission to do that? Yes. Everybody promise to keep the tomatoes in their pocket. <laughs> okay, because here's what we're going to do. It's not fair to the rest of them if they don't know 100% about you. It's not fair to you if you don't know 100% about the eyes. So we're going we're gonna to really take a deep dive very quickly and bear in mind we're talking about sales. You're talking about your customers coming through the door and you quickly identifying what kind of personality they are because how many of you agree with me that if you can relate and communicate better with your clients you will sell more. Somebody say yes. yes. Okay, awesome. All right, so the D type stands for dominant, demanding, direct, determined, decisive, doer, director, dogmatic, dreamer, diligent, dynamic, and here's the bad one, defiant. Defiant. We can be, and now I gotta, I gotta say something. I am off the charts a D, so these are my people, all right? Ask my, by the way, my wife is here, all the way in the back. Tony, all the way in the back. Ask her if I can be all of these at some point. Absolutely. Yeah. The D-type person is a mover and a shaker. The entrepreneur. He, they're usually the business owners. They're usually the main leaders of a big organization. They dream big. They make big things happen. Now, in, a, in the worldwide percentage, there's about 10% of worldwide population that are identified as a D. Do you know why? I believe it's because of the grace of God, because the world couldn't handle more of these people. <laughs> All right? Okay, now what I did is I picked out a political figure and an entertaining figure for each one of these groups so you can identify. Everybody knows these people that I'm going to talk about. It is not a political endorsement. Okay, but the perfect people that are a D type, and remember, they're not just a D, but we don't have time to go into the DIs and the DSs, and, and we just have time to talk about the four major characters. The perfect people that you can identify with with the D-type personality is Judge Judy and Donald Trump. They get things done. They really do. They get a lot of things done. You know, does, does Trump have, a, you know, how, when was the last time you saw a picture of him on a beach somewhere, relaxed, reading a book? No. This guy's all about showing his power. He's all about showing who he is and showing his, his strength. But he gets a lot of stuff done, right? He does. Judge Judy. Same way. When was the last time you saw her just lollygagging around? She's always, she's walking like, you've seen her? Absolutely. Watch her sometimes when she walks. She walks with purpose and she's like barking orders. I'm a D. I go into my office every morning and say, hey, how's everybody doing? Good, good, good. That was a great staff meeting, wasn't it? <laughs> we think that just because we said good morning, it's okay. I once had a guy call me or text me, Dave. Is everything okay between us? He was a customer of mine. Is everything okay between us? And I said, yeah, sure, why? He said, well, your text this morning didn't say good morning. Uh, uh. It was just like, hey, can you bring this to the event? We're so focused on the result that we sometimes forget that there's people and feelings. And we're so focused on that result that we forget about the feelings, okay? The basic needs for a D is challenges, choices, and control. These people need to be challenged. They love challenge. They like to, to figure things out and make things happen. The D types make good administrators, athletes, boxers, builders, business owners, coaches, developers, directors, drill instructors, uh, entrepreneurs, executive fighter pilots, foremen, government agents, law enforcement officers, lawyers, military, special forces, motivators, news anchors, private investigators, producers, race car drivers, real estate developers, sales managers, supervisors, and truck drivers. <laughs> Who knew? These people will make a statement like this. Don't tell me about the labor pains, just show me the baby. <laughs> Bottom line. So, the C's when you're dealing with a D-type personality, 
I know what you're thinking. You want facts, you want details, you like things very much in order. The D's, they don't care how it gets done. They want to know what it will do and what is the result. So don't bore them with the details that you think are important. They are important to you. They're, they're important to everybody, but the D's, they could care less. I was on the phone call the, uh, just two day, three days ago with a lady from Australia. She had a product that I was going to buy. And she went on and on and on and on about the details of what this product will do and how they developed it. Not, not what it will do, but how they developed it for an hour. And she talked herself right out of a sale, even after I let her know several times by, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, now what's next? You know, I kept telling her, I need to move along because I started getting nauseous. I actually started getting nauseous because it was so much detail and she talked herself out of a sale. And I finally had to tell her, I was, listen, I don't care how it works. I just want to know what it does and, and what it will do for my company.